What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the Arania set and try to answer the question, should you buy the Grace Note or not? Now, the entire beginning of this video is going to be a look at each piece and seeing exactly what they do. Then after that, we will take the set into a PvP match and we'll see how well it performs. For set piece number one, it's the Exo Generator. And this was part of the research in the Spec Op task list. This particular piece of the Arrhenia set is going to be a free action, which is nice to have. It also has guaranteed hit, it's subtle, and then by itself it gives you dependable debuffs, so debuff moves cannot be locked out. It also causes pin cushion to one enemy. In my personal opinion, it's pretty underwhelming, but it is a free action. Now as far as its connection to the rest of the set, it gains new immunities per set piece. With two pieces you'll gain dependable buffs, three you'll get dependable ranged, and with all four of the set pieces you'll get dependable melee. This is all fine and good, but really there's not that much lockout going on right now. So it's not one of my biggest concerns. In fact, I would say this is my least favorite piece of the entire set. Moving on to the second piece, it's the webbed gloves. And you can win these off the epic boss Morlin. The gloves are a quick action. They're stealthy. They cause webbed and dizzy. As far as quick actions go, being stealthy and causing damage plus webbed and dizzy, that makes this a very nice quick action option. You could kind of just throw these on for extra damage. But with other pieces of the set, it does gain new debuffs. With two, it gains exposed. Three, slowed. And with all four pieces, it gains weakened. Note that these are all pressure points or Paragon Exploiter debuffs, which is kind of odd as you'll see in a second. The Grace Note, or the third piece of the set, is the 64 Gold Item option. It is a ranged attack. It exploits opportunity, so it doesn't have Paragon Exploiter. It also exploits webbing and stun, plus has a chance to perform a preemptive counter when attacked. It causes webbed by itself, and with any other set piece it gains momentum when preemptively countering. Momentum increases damage done, I believe by 10% per stack. It also reduces damage taken from counter attacks by 50%. Because of that and all the exploit options, this weapon can hit extremely hard, even as a preemptive attack, which is very nice to have. I've broken 40k without even trying. With the right opportunist debuff team and setup, it could do so much damage. Unfortunately, like I said, the web gloves has pressure points debuffs instead, which is strange to say the least. Another oddity comes with the fourth piece of the set, because it's also a quick action. And like it says, you can only use one quick action each round. This weapon is the Venom Launcher though, and it does have a two round cooldown. It's also an AoE attack, so keep that one in mind. What this quick action AoE tech ranged attack does, is it causes envenomed and incapacitation to all enemies. Then with any other set piece it gains near fatal. So unlike the other pieces, this is very similar to what the Grace Note offers. You only need one other set piece to activate its additional power. That's why I would say those two pieces would be your best usage of this set. The Grace Note is definitely number one, as far as my favorite set piece. And then due to the fact that the Web Gloves just requires too many pieces, to unlock its true potential, makes me value the Venom Launcher over it. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about this set while we're in this fight, but first let me just say I kept getting this team over and over again. Spidey Noir and Rocket Raccoon. And they're not the best team to show off set pieces against. But like I said, we got so many of them in a row, I just figured, you know what, we'll have to make do. But while this one rages on, I do just want to go back to what I was saying. Now as far as the Arrhenia set as a whole, I don't think it's the best set. Like I said, there are two quick actions. The free action is there, but it's not great. And then the grace note is definitely the best part. 
but you're either going to have to buy it for 64 gold or research it. And I would say you should really try to research it. Go for that piece above any other. Then hopefully you can win the Venom Launcher on the Daily Roulette, and you should be fine with just those two. Don't get me wrong, the web gloves can be good, and in the right setup, I think they could actually be amazing. The problem is, to get the full effects you have to bring in the entire set, and it just isn't that viable in today's PvP. If you use the full set, then you're going to be missing out on the Hexen Jaeger, or the Skeptic, the Hugin's Eye, the Raf Shank, Weather Control Device, all these things that are really essential. So that's why I shoot down the set as a whole. But I will be trying them out with, of course, Captain Britain, who, along with those web gloves, is going to be pretty amazing. And sure, the other way you could use those gloves is just for extra damage and to help build up webbing. So I'm happy that I won them, I just wouldn't recommend building them first. In fact, for me, we're going to fire the Venom Launcher, and then when it's on cooldown, we'll use the gloves. Or if you did want to also use them on the same turn, you could. Say if you had Hyperion or Captain Britain, some sort of Paragon Exploiter. Then you could still use both items, but the second one wouldn't be a quick action. At times, that really isn't a bad option. And like I said, we will try this set out again with some of our favorite Paragon Exploiters. So it's not the last you'll see of the Arania set. As for this battle, it is a really close call. And that's in part because we have no way to stop counters or follow-up attacks. One of the problems left to us because we're using the full set. Next time we want to try it, maybe we'll use the Scrapper Safeguard Suit or Iron Fist. But for now, we have to make do. Hopefully we can still pull this one out. Even though on our agent's turn, he's very close to death. What we can do is use the Exo Generator, and that of course is a free action, and I suppose we'll use it on Spidey Noir. After that, we're going to use the Web Gloves on the enemy agent. With Near Fatal, all we had to do was get him close to death, and he would be gone, but we come up just short. Still, keep that in mind because Near Fatal is a really awesome debuff. Then Spider-Man Noir is going to get hit with the Grace Note, and with a little more setup, he would have been knocked out for sure. It still was a pretty nice preemptive counter. But say with someone like Anti-Venom, you would really stack webbing and opportunist debuffs. The opportunist debuffs being the most important part. But still, Kurth isn't going to have too many problems taking down their agent, and we end up winning the fight. So that's going to be it for this one, but like I said, we will be using this set more and with different setups, or I should say team-ups. Like I said earlier, I don't think it's a great set as a whole. It just eliminates too many needed items. But I do like the Grace Note, and I would build that first, then hope that I won the Venom Launcher. As for the Web Gloves, if you won them, great. If not, I would build them later. And the Exo Generator is by far my least favorite piece. At least for now. If more lockout debuff characters and items become prevalent in the future, it could very well be worth using. If I were you, I would try the Venom Launcher and the Grace Note as a two set piece combo. But that's it for this one. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.